It's time for another casual encounter. Hello. I knew it was you from 50 paces. I've memorized your scent. Sit down! Relax! Your thumb thumping has you ragged. Excuse me, if you will, while I wet my beak. Ephemera, bring Daddy his medicine! Yeah, it's good. More, more. <laughs> Thanks, dollface. Little known fact, LL stands for locked and loaded. Now, where was I? Oh yes, it was 1991, and I just returned from a midnight showing of City Slickers with a bleary-eyed John C. Dvorak. All of a sudden, the phone rings, and it's none other than a stammering, panicked Tim Berners-Lee. I say, TBL, you're normally TCB. What's the 411? Pick out the stems and seeds from Big Daddy Port, and let's get the straight dope. As it turns out, the next day he was set to announce the World Wide Web, when all of a sudden his silent partner, Jake Goldman, crawled into a tree and refused to come down. Jake was strange. Tim swore he was the brains behind the operation, but refused to put his name on anything because he was too shy. Tim wanted my advice on how to calm Jake down. It actually reminds me quite a bit of Ghost Trick, for iOS. It's a story about a murdered detective who gets a second lease on life when he realizes he can go four minutes back in time and affect physical objects as a spectral phantom to prevent his own death. Ironically, it mirrors the story of the game itself. An underwhelming original for the Nintendo DS could have killed this game, but Capcom decided to give it a second life by porting it to the App Store. <laughs> and it's a good thing. Flat out, the invisible touch controls on an iPad or iPhone make this game a dream to play compared to the DS. Since the levels are in real-time, accuracy counts in a major way. The gameplay is inventive. The story will lose a few belly laughs since it was sprung from the quivering brain of Phoenix Wright mastermind Shutakomi. The first two levels are free, but if you're like me, you'll peel off $9.99 to unlock the rest faster than it took Jake to scamper up that sycamore. Anyhow, I told Tim what he needed to hear, and the next day, he changed the world, one hypertext link at a time. As for Jake, he turned out to be a cat. A cat who invented the internet. But that's a story for the next casual encounter. <laughs> this has been a casual encounter.